Hey guys, it's Lika. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review for The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. This book I got in Owlcrate, which was for February. Um, so this is an exclusive cover. The original cover is more black and dark, um, which is pretty accurate because this is a really dark story. When you think of fairy tales, you think of happily ever afters, um, fairies, happy things, like everyone stays alive and all this happy horse shit. But this is a very dark fairy tale. It kind of reminds me of the original like Brothers Grimm tales, but it's about a girl who her and her mother are always running. They're always running from weird things that happen. Like they just have a string of bad luck. Her grandmother was a writer and she wrote this big old book of fairy tales that her mother would not let her read. And her grandmother seemed to have gained some fame from it. She is still clueless as to who her grandmother really is because she doesn't visit. She stays on her estate. She doesn't really seem to care much about her. So Alice and her mother Ella are always running from bad luck. Alice goes to a regular school, she gets regular friends, and one day things just mysteriously, just weird things just happen. Apparently when Alice was little, she was abducted by a man who was actually really nice to her. He told her stories about her grandmother and he said he was going to take her to see, see her grandmother over in the Hazelwood. You know, she ends up not going and getting caught and he gets in trouble and blah 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 and then years later while she's working in the coffee shop all of a sudden uh there's the guy who kidnapped her years and years ago and he leaves a feather a bone and a comb on the table and then when she gets home her mother is all of a sudden kidnapped there's a really bad smell in the house, so she's obviously looking for dead bodies. It doesn't find any. And Harold, her stepfather, is gone, and so is her stepsister. So her and Finch, her friend, end up trying to figure out what's going on. It's got to be something dealing with the fairy tales. And then she goes back to her apartment, and her stepfather has unleashed a gun on her and is telling her to never see him again and blah 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 so Alice is really on her own and so is Finch so she ends up going on this like huge quest to find the Hazelwood to find her grandmother and to find her mother only things don't seem to happen the way you think they would happen it is a pretty dark fairy tale with a bunch of twists in it and I gobbled it up in a few days like it was amazing and it is one of my favorite books so far this year which I guess doesn't say very much because this is the last day of February but I still think you all should go read this book it's excellent it is excellent like five stars for sure especially if you're into like the weird creepy shit and the dark shit so yeah Thank you all for watching my video and if you like this review then please leave me a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss any more videos from me then please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next video.